my name is Will Carmack and in today's After Effects tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do the dolly zoom effect from the severance elevator scenes when you go from your Audi to your Innie. Now you might be wondering why this needs to be an After Effects tutorial because you can do this in camera. Well the problem is if you have a fixed lens, maybe even a small budget, you're not going to really have a lot of control or ability to go backwards and zoom. These high production shows that can pull off these incredibly flawless dolly zooms are using super super expensive lenses and tracks to make sure that this effect is flawless. So this is a tutorial for all the people who have a fixed lens or don't have access to resources that can let you pull off this move. So for the effect I'm showing everybody today, you can do this in After Effects with a fixed lens, any camera, and that's the T. And before we get started, I have to let you know that this video is sponsored by my sugar daddy, Lumen. I mean Squarespace. So step one, you can see here I'm standing in an elevator. To be able to pull off your own dolly zoom without having a zoom lens is simply walking backwards with your subject, you know, in front of the camera. So here in After Effects, you can see uh, the footage that we're gonna be using. I'm in an elevator and I'm acting my ass off going from my Audi to my Innie. In a pro tip for the acting situation, it's really important that you kind of keep your head in the same spot. For example, in this scene here, I like twitched way too much and a big point of this effect is keeping the face centered at all time. Now to achieve the dolly zoom effect, right here when the camera starts going backwards and if we hit P to drop down position, we'll create a keyframe for position and we'll hit S to show scale and create a keyframe for scale. So after you create the keyframes, you wanna reference where your face already is in the scene. And to help us do that, we'll come up to view and right here, we're gonna click on show rulers and we're gonna grab our guides like this and just put them where our face is like originally in the scene. So when we're all the way back here with our scaling position and keyframes, we'll be able to scale, position our face back inside that box. So this is where the camera starts to pan backwards by the time you're done acting so right here is when I'm officially any will right here looks good so once you reach that point in your acting we'll create two more keyframes for position and scale and we're just gonna reposition our face to be inside that area our original face was so we're gonna so we're just gonna scale it up move our head where it needs to be and now let's watch that back Wow Oh my gosh, and now we have our severance dolly zoom elevator effect. We can fine tune this a little bit though. Let's select our first two keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, and then easy ease, so it eases into the effect. Whoa. And same with the last two, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. So all together, this just looks amazing, wow. You know, this effect is so simple just with position and scaling keyframes that you could do this in Adobe Premiere. You could do this in CapCut. This effect is pretty evergreen if you have a fixed lens and you don't have the resources to access a camera with a zoom lens or a dolly track. And so this is the accessible way to get your own severance dolly zoom elevator effect. And currently I'm any will, my Audi won't ever let me stop making tutorials. I just pop up every single time OBS is turned on. I'm like, oh, I hope you enjoyed this super simple tutorial and I hope to see you guys do this effect for yourself. And of course, it's time to thank my incredible sponsor, Lumen. Just kidding. Squarespace! I have to introduce to you Squarespace's design intelligence. You might not know this about me, but I have the biggest collection of vintage life magazines in the world. And I want to create a site showing off this American history in a really pretty way. And so with Squarespace's design intelligence, I can create a website that looks perfect and vibey. So with these vintage magazines, maybe some cool vintage looking shapes to show off some covers, a nice color scheme that really matches the dark tones of these magazines. And if I need some assistance, they have award-winning templates. So I actually have a lot of duplicates of these vintage magazines and I wanna sell them as collector's items to other people. And what's amazing about that is Squarespace has online stores you can create. So if you have products, whether that's jewelry, plants, vintage magazines, you can create a beautiful online store with Squarespace. And even better, Squarespace Payments is endless. They have all the popular payment methods like Klarna and Afterpay, all the buy now, pay later options. And if you don't think Squarespace is incredible yet, well, how about the fact that they gave me a code to give you for 10% off your first website or domain. So go get a discount on creating a website that will bolster your image as a professional. Really anybody can benefit from having an amazing website. So build it with Squarespace. Where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will and have a nice day.